guys, how you doing today? Give an honor to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, because he's so worthy to be acknowledged and praised. How's everyone doing today? I hope you all are having a great day. My day is fantastic. The good Lord woke me up this morning. I have nothing to complain about, but I am ready to show you this recipe that I'm about to do. Guys, I am making steak. I've seasoned it up. And wait till I tell you how I season my steak. I'm pulling out all the stops. Now I'm sharing all the secrets, okay? That's my steak right there. I've seasoned it up, washed it and seasoned it. I have some broccoli, some sofrito blend, my onions and peppers. I like the way they're cut. So I'm going to put that in my pepper and beef and broccoli. Then I have some beef broth that I'm going to use to make my gravy with some flour. And I have some steakhouse seasoning. I have the perfect pinch steak seasoning, which I make myself now. And I do the chicken one as well. Not disregarding McCormick, but they taught me some things. <laughs> I have some ground black pepper there. Sorry for the shadow. And I have a box of rice aroni beef rice. Okay, so I have my pan right here. I have my pepperoncini oil in it. So I'm going to get started on these steaks. But let me tell you how Miss Deb seasoned her steaks. Now look at that real careful. My shadow is over. It is not that dark in the middle. It's just my shadow. Okay, see it? This is how I do mine. I told you I keep my meats frozen unless it's a meat that I have to defrost. So I let them sit for a while after I wash them and I season them while they're frozen. So what works for me to make my steak tender? I season it with coffee grounds. Yes, coffee grounds. And I, not coffee grounds, I'm sorry, the regular instant coffee. And I use garlic. I use sazon. I use my pepperoncini olive oil, which you, that, that you guys that follow me, you know what's inside of that. And I use, um, like I said, brown, uh, ground black peppercorns. I grind them. And I use garlic and my steak season. Here is the top. <laughs> To make it extra tender, I use orange juice. Yes, orange juice, any old kind of orange juice. Because the acid, the citrus and acid in the oranges, it breaks the meat down. Trust me and believe me. All right, guys, let's get this started, okay? So, guys, I have my steak going, and that's the sauce from the orange juice and the coffee. Now, that might sound weird to you guys, but don't knock it till you try it. Trust me, it really tenderizes your meat. So I have it going at full blast. Now I'm going to turn it down some, guys. I added some chopped garlic to this and some uh, some more of the coarse uh, cracked black pepper. So I have that going. Then I'm going to add my onions. And guys, if you want to take the, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> I'm sorry. If you want to take the orange juice off of your steak, that's your preference. You have a right to do that. But me being that I'm going to make like a stir fry meal, I'm going to have my rice on the bottom and my broccoli and veggies on the top. I choose to leave the orange juice in there for two reasons. One, because it will still be tenderizing the meat. And also it gives it a nice flavor, a nice sweet flavor. But if you don't want to do that, you can always just discard the orange juice. But that's just a suggestion that I want to give to you guys. So we're going to let this cook down. Then I'm going to start adding my veggies, which is my onions and peppers. Okay, guys? And then I'll put the broccoli in. Guys, to show you to put the proof into the pudding... When I tell you how tender this meat is, I wanted to show you a close-up on it. Watch this. You always cut your meat against the grain. Look at that. Look at that, guys. You see that? Did it look like I wrestled with this meat to slice it? Look at that. Comes right off. You see that? That's what I'm telling you. Check out what Miss Debs tell you. When I give you these tips, I'm telling you it's for a good reason. Always cut your meat against the grain. And you won't have tough rubber, rubbery meat. A lot of people stay away from steak because they don't know how to properly prepare it and to tenderize it. Now, let me tell you something. I'm not bragging, honey, because it took me a minute. 
I used to cook, but my meat was always tough. And then I just started playing with different things. I was like, you know, look at it the scientific way. What breaks down meat muscle? I mean, for meat, for meat. <laughs> and I was like, okay, orange juice has the citrus, citrus. And then if you're trying to um, make like an oriental meal or a stir fry meal, sometimes you want it sweet. So, hey, let's try that. Let's try coffee. Let's try. And it worked. See that, guys? That's my meat. Now I'm going to do the other pieces. I just wanted to show you that. Okay, guys. So I have my pepperoncini olive oil inside of the pan. I'm getting ready to start putting my meat in here. Quick, fast, and in a hurry. So we're going to let the meat cook up. Then I'm going to start adding my veggies. And I forgot to tell you guys, I made a boo-boo. The onions and peppers that I had out, those weren't the those weren't the ones that I wanted to use. I wanted to use the fajita, the fajita style one, not the one sofrito that you put in the sauces. So I'm going to show you the, um, the peppers and onions that I'm getting ready to put in. Okay, guys, so here is the meat going. I have it up high, but I'm about to turn it down. I drained all the juice out of it, and then I um, added a little more pepperoncini olive oil. And you see that little quarter of a, uh, a pad of butter, that's my Irish butter. It gives it a nice gloss and a nice flavor. And over here, my broccoli is done, so I can turn them off. Sorry for the steam. Okay, let me flip this over, and I'll show you the final result. I'm getting ready to do my rice. You know, that's just regular rice aroni. You follow the directions on the box, and I'll be back with you. I'm going to just show you one more step, guys. I added the beef broth in here as well. Okay? All right. These are the peppers, guys. The pepper and onions, the fajita mix. I had out the sofrito ones. I love the brand name Sabrosha. Sabrosa. They have a lot of good products and very reasonable price. Okay, so the meat is going. I put the beef broth in. I have my rice over here. I have my pepperoncini olive oil on the bottom. I'm going to stir that up. And I'll show you the final results. You hear everything just sizzling away, right? All right. I want you guys to look at that. Do that look delicious, guys, or what? I put a little crushed red pepper in it. And I added the broccoli. So it's just simmering a little down into the broth. I just want it to all disintegrate. And then I have my rice over there boiling the rice alone. I promise you this time I'm going to show you the final results. Guys, that's the rice aroni I put in the bottom of the pan. Guys, this is the final results. This is my beef and broccoli with fried rice. The rice is on the bottom. Thank you guys for joining me. This is your girl, Miss Debs. Try this recipe out, guys. I will put it in my description. God bless you. Have a beautiful day. And thank you for joining your girl. Remember, like, subscribe, comment, share, hit that notification bell so you'll see me whenever I put up one of these banging recipes. This is the best beef and broccoli on this, this side of Jersey.